Hi, I'm visualising a, a, a water scene estuary like uh, the Colne estuary, but with a different background. So I'll, I'll put a beach, whether it's an inlet or whatever. Uh, you, we can decide as we go along. But I'll, now I've got my my paints, my palette in this freezer bag, the Ziploc bag, and I sprayed it earlier with some water. So it's nice and nice and moist. I didn't paint. I painted Wednesday and, and Monday, and from between Monday and, and Wednesday, the the paint stayed really moist. So it was almost like painting out of a tube as I worked with a bit of colour on it. So I just dried the sense of that off. Right. Okay. So straight in with the with the the, the wetting. I've got a sunset coming up to demonstrate very shortly. This friend of ours have got a, they're renting a very, very large house near Brighton, outside Brighton. And they're getting these wonderful sunsets at the moment, which, and they want a memory. When they're, they're having their own house demolished and rebuilt in, in their own, for their own design. And they're renting this house and they love it. And They've asked me if I would do a picture of the sunset, not the house, I wouldn't do that. Because once you start doing that, people know how their houses look. And, oh, could you put a rose tree up the front by the front door, put some columns here, all the things that don't exist. And you lose your freedom to express yourself. But some people are good at that sort of thing, I'm not. So that's my excuse anyway. All right. I'll put in a bit of sienna, a nice bit of warm sienna, raw sienna. Paper's a bit buffered, it's on the, on the back of another demo. So that's the basis of the, of the warmth all over. And as that expands, I'll, I'll dry it off. Now I'll put in a bit of, a bit of ultramarine. So my, my palette is lemon yellow, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red, ultramarine, burnt umber, paint grey and burnt sienna. So I'll put a nice bit of, bit of blue in here. Nice thick blue over the top. Going to nothing as we come down to the horizon, we can put a bit in. Where the water's going to go. Get off. Right. Now I've mixed that with some light red, my usual cloud colour. You can use Payne's Grey and Alizarin. I prefer to do this. Now you'll see my, my brush, the hairs are splitting, so just bring them back together again by dipping the tips, the tip of the brush in water and then taking the hair out. Just put in some Some nice cloud. A bit of red. And as you come to the horizon, we go lighter colour. Right, okay, I'll just reclip that. Too many high spots on it now. Get that nice and straight. It's a lovely day today, but apparently we're in for a lot of pollution uh, from our own traffic and, and from the continent running across the channel. Right, well that's that's okay, just just a little bit fainter across on so that down to the horizon. And I can probably put in a bit of a bit of um, burnt sienna in there, a bit of clean burnt sienna. My burnt sienna is in a lamentable dirty state. I'm just going to give a clean. Just clean the palette. And back into the raw sienna. Okay, all in the middle. So that will do that. Hopefully, that will uh, bleed into the 
background and we'll concentrate on on the background a lot, a lot of this blue is going to be covered so I'll put a bit of, bit of blue blue in and red as my background a bit more hilly than the last one I did the last one of this I did a bit of, bit of misty murky stuff there Breathe into that sky So let's uh, change the colours now. A bit of greeny, yellowy, sienery. You do need your cloth to take the moisture off your brush. So let's just bring that down there, across there. I'm a mug for water and uh, estuaries and flat landscapes. Bit of burnt umber, I think. Bit of blue. Dip the brush. And you just get a bit of, bit of hard. In there. Right, just just re-clip. As it grows, you see, you don't, you don't need to just pre-stretch paper this so thick. It's, I know some people do, and you can do what you like, but it stays pretty flat. In fact, I reckon it's as flat as I ever got it with when I used to stretch the stuff. Right, let's just go across there with... To give a bit of variety in, in the shoreline here. I'll put some heavier. Oh, I've got quite a good horizontal horizon there. Just going up just a touch there, maybe. If you do this and you, you find that you've gone up a bit, you can always put it crooked in the frame, then amount. All right, let's put in some burnt sienna and ultramarine on the blue side for the distant, some distant trees here. And you can vary that. Put some warmer sienna in. Now I'm thinking of ideas of how to increase the interest in this. By putting another little sort of a beaching coming across here. You're mixing lots of colours in with your your mix. Otherwise, you just get flat washes, which which you don't really want to do. You want some interest, and you just vary it whichever way you can. So that's a that's a that going across there. And we have some larger trees coming out from that, or some something like that. We have we think of something. Okay. Well, that's where we can put some bits of rock in there. Just little bits. Just some interest on the beach. But nothing more than that. Just just to add a bit of interest to in it. Put a bit of green in there. A bit of Payne's grey. A bit of bit of yellow. Of burnt sienna warms up the green of burnt sienna and just a 
open this beach up a little bit. Okay. Showing some reeds. Or marsh grass. Okay, that'll do for that. That's all nice and delicate. Got more to do on there. So I'll just put this little beach in here now. So I'll, I'll have really nice warm colours. So I'll have red, burnt sienna, burnt umber. And just, just push it in. Bit of red in there. Bit of, bit of yellow. Bit of burnt sienna, bit of paint grey. Soften. And I can go over that with some texture. This is not going to be dissimilar to the one I did last week. I think it was last week, but the time goes so quick. Leave some of this marshy stuff open so the sky is reflecting in the, the great beyond. Grassy colour. Touching the hake, look at all those little separate bristles. Some of this up with a, a bank of something like that. Okay, so we'll um, I'll put in some darks in there, some dark greeny stuff. Right, okay, a few flicks. Not too much, very easy to get carried away. Right, now we'll put in some nice dark, rich dark colours there. Burnt umber, burnt sienna, plains grey. Bit of a grass bank coming across here. <coughs> oh, just bits of interest. Try to avoid monotony. Put in some a tree there as I did before. These all end up differently, so so don't worry about repeating yourself. The only way you ever do that is if you photocopy it. Now, a nice bit of dark grey now. Try to vary the, when you do these, try to not to get a regular shape. Those I have there, so I'm just going to just try. Right, now put a bit more greeny, grey. Tree. Going all over the place, let's just put some hedgy stuff for it's 
stuff sticking over the parapet. Now a bit more heavy in the tree. Be lighting my barbecue soon. Do some lunch with uh, white paint. And if I do another one this afternoon, you better smell the garlic. Now, still, still, I see, still, still, still going uphill there, so I'm going to have to change, change that. A bit of warm sienna and the two siennas. No, the burnt umber and the, and the burnt, burnt sienna. So, just see if I can straighten it up along here. Sort of a beach. Right, okay, because I can put in some bit of a bluer tree in the back there with a the burnt umber and ultramarine. So we're just a smaller tree. Come down into that. And all of those, a bit of texture in that. Uh, that really probably could come a bit near, a bit nearer. So I'll just make it a bit larger on the top. That's fine. Clean the hake. Now we've got to do the detailing, a bit of detailing, not a lot. Uh, there we go. I'll, ju I'll just dry the trees off, so just hold your, your ears or take your headphones off. Ready, go. So, <coughs> um, that, I'll use a larger, the number four rigger for my dark trunks in there. So we'll have coming up from here. You can get quite a big mark with this brush. Don't put everything in. Just a just a bit. Th 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 a little bit says there's a lot. I'll strengthen up this here. Right, nice warm dark. It's a plain grain burnt sienna. Just buff this up a little bit. Show a bit of shadow. Sorry, Freddie hasn't been around for a while. He's playing with Elsa in the garden. That's the cat next door. And just, just a few flicks and flies there. Just a little bit more. Okay, now blue, 
into that mix for the other side. That'll do. Nothing more, more than that. Right, let's get in some bit of detail in the foreground and then we'll see what else we can put in to liven it up a bit. Some more rainbows and yachts and stuff. Usual stuff. Okay, what does it look like on the screen? And not too bad. Right, okay, a boat brush. Just a few boats at anchor. Hmm, probably overdone it. But if I put some masts on there, be faintly, well, in my big brush, my inch, oh, where's my cloth? My inch uh, acrylic brush, just give those nice hard edges. I will just do. there and probably a little figure just tiny little bits of the landscape nothing more I'm going to sign it and go and my charcoal. I wish I was signing it. I'll sign it. Mm, I never sign it over there. But I might have to. Just try that off because I've put some splashes on there. Take your headphones off. I'll use the uh, the lighter coloured mount, the ivory mount, and see what we've done here. Probably have to be a bit, bit, bit stronger in there. Oh, well, anyway, we've got a, a simple estuary scene. I, I think the background's come out quite well, actually. 
Um, got enough interest in there to, to just little focal bits. Overdone the boats. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Let's zoom you in. Come around, turn around, and zoom. Right, let's go to that side where the big tree is. This is my marsh grass. I have added some green there somewhere on the line. And then we come up to the distance there. We we'll go across the horizon. See what we've done there. I suppose we could have put some little buildings in there. Really, but could do, couldn't I? Okay, let's take you out. I'll, I'll uh, get a building brush. And in that bare area there, I'll just see if I can just put in some very light grey. Some buildings. A bit darker than that. They want to show, but I don't want them to. Bad thinking, bad thinking. I'll take that out. I don't like that. No, it's in there. Uh, oh well, it's a... So I can blot it out a little bit. It's a good idea. Nothing in it. Right. Ruined, ruined. But not beyond redemption. Just a little bit of a tree down. Oh, I should have thought about this before. So we just. Cover it up. No problem. Right, okay, well, we'll let, we'll let that go. I should have thought about that. I could have lifted it out rather than overpainted it. Right, thanks for watching. Kind of like the Barbie. See you soon. Oh, I'll just come out so you can have another little look at that fabulous picture. Not. But seriously, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope there's enough in there for you. Have a go at these sort of thing, things. Make them up. I've got no reference material, it's just from experience and having done it many times before in various colours and various moods, I think the sky sort of works. Let me know what you think. Bye bye.